Hi, Clips is a great video, photo, screen recording, image editing app that you and your students can use. It's found free on our iPads. Students can also use it from their iPhone. Um, really easy to use, music overlay stickers. It just really makes your videos look pop. Where does Clips content come from? You can record yourself live, you can record your surroundings, you can use images from your photos library, you can use screen recordings, you can use videos that you recorded in the past. You literally can get your content from anywhere. Open the Clips app. The three options for adding content pop up, camera, library, and posters. The camera button allows you to record yourself, Hit reverse to record your surroundings. In either case, you will need to press and hold this red button while recording. Holding the red button also determines the length of the clip in your video. The library button allows you to look into your photos library and select either screen recordings, videos, or images that you have previously saved to your photos library. Once an image has been selected, press and hold the red button to record. Holding the red button will allow you to make an audio recording over your image or video. The posters option allows you to make professional looking title cards. We can begin with the posters feature. It can be used for title slides and introductions. First, open the Clips app. From the main screen, select posters, choose the one you like, type your text, click apply. Once you've made your poster, press and hold the pink button and do your voiceover. One of the best features of Clips is the Live Titles option. Hello class. To get Live Titles started, choose what visual you want to use and click the conversation button. I can add Live Titles over a poster while recording myself or over an image or video such as a screen recording. Hold the pink button to record. Now anything I say is turned into text. I noticed Clips made an auto type error. It recorded no, not now. To fix, select the clip with the error, click text, edit text, hit enter, and then X out. It's fixed, it reads now. Let's look at the filter feature. Clips offers filters that can be applied to any video or image that you would like to use. Remember, you can record yourself, use a still image, a screen recording, any video in your photos library. Select the image you want to use and then click the rainbow star. So many choices. There are a lot of fun filter options. Choose the filter that best enhances your video or that represents the mood you are trying to convey. Stickers, emojis, and text boxes can enhance any image you add to your movie. To film your surroundings, flip your camera and record directly into the Clips app. Remember to press and hold the pink button to record. Select the clip that you want to enhance. Once again, look for the star button. Choose text, stickers, or emoji. Edit the text as you like. Resize and move. Some of the stickers are animated. Emojis can convey emotion. To enhance any clip, use advanced editing tools. Select the clip you want to edit. You can trim, split, or duplicate. Let's trim. Splitting comes in handy if you only want stickers or text to be on one half of the clip. You can also duplicate clips that you want to show again later in your movie. Duplicated clips as well as all other clips can be lifted, dragged, and dropped to suit your narrative. When you select an image from your library, it might not always fit perfectly when you bring it into clips. You can resize using your fingers, pinching in and out, moving left to right. 
I hope you enjoy using clips by Apple. As always, email me with questions. Best. P.S. Add music by pressing the musical note in the top right and selecting a soundtrack. Select soundtracks and then experiment. P.P.S. You can mute a clip by selecting the clip and then pressing the mute button. This gets rid of background noises or noises unintended for your video. Good luck.